Hey guys, what's going on? Tyraku here, and I hope everyone's doing great. Today, I want to talk about a champion who gets overlooked a lot of times. Um, for a long time, I just had him in my vault. He was guarding the vault, but I was struggling with Orcs Faction Wars for a little while, and a clanmate, Tycoons actually, told me that he used this champion, which is Vrask. He used this champion in a specific type of gear, and I was like, wow, I can't believe I didn't actually think about that because this literally makes him a decent healer to a significantly better healer. Now, there's a few reasons why I want to kind of talk about this right now, guys. Unfortunately, the Orcs Faction Crypt is not open for another week in two days, and I would rather wait until then to jump in there and really showcase this champion, but we do have an Ice Golem tournament going on right now, and this gear you get from the Ice Golem, okay? So if you're wanting to get this gear, and you're probably running some of the Ice Golem tournament anyways, at least to get this little guy right here, a lot of people don't really run Ice Golem very frequently, but I'm starting to see more and more of the value from Ice Golem, and I really like the dungeon overall, as far as the uniqueness of the gear sets you can get and the uh, unique builds you can make. Now, this particular build, I think, is very, very helpful. Now, you can get this from the Ice Golem for like the higher level pieces, but you can also get it from the market. Uh, the gear set I'm going to be talking about is Retaliation. You can get Retaliation gear from the market, guys, and you can also farm it from the campaign. So if you really, really want to get Vrask into maybe your clan boss team or something like that, you can definitely do it. Now, I'm going to jump in and show you my Vrask build, kind of go over the masteries that I would use with him and overall how you can make this set work. But I've done a video on retaliation before. If you guys want to go back and watch that video, it talks about it a little bit on some different champions. I think it's a fantastic set for clan boss in general. You basically have a counterattack, but for a set. So instead of having a brand like a Martyr or Valkyrie or something like that, you can do it for a set. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as good as those counterattacks, but we'll jump into retaliation. And I'll kind of go over it a little bit better, guys. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, this type of content, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment down below. It helps me out so much with the algorithm and getting this push out to more people. So let's go take a look at Vrask and how he's actually built. So looking at his skills, why is Vrask good in retaliation gear? Okay, now you can apply this to any champion who has a really good ability on their A1 ability really good effect on their a1 ability or a passive which in vrask's case this is a passive ability that's really just so helpful okay so a1 super simple attacks one enemy fills this champion's turn meter by 20 percent if this attack is critical so we're going to build him with crit rate without a doubt his a2 attacks one enemy okay nothing special there but this is where he really shines and which makes him such a good healer and honestly i'm going to try him out in clan balls soon I'm probably going to try them out on a Brutal Clan Boss just because I don't really have a team for Brutal. I have my Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare teams done, but I don't really have a, a team specifically for Brutal. I mean, Brutal is not difficult to one key where I'm at right now, but I may try Vrask out, kind of see how he does and how well he performs. But I think in Retaliation, he can do amazing. So if you use Vrask in Clan Boss, in Retaliation gear, let me know and let me know how he does for you. I know he's decent even outside of Retaliation. But this ability heals all allies by 10% of his max HP when he inflicts a critical hit. All right. So you're going to build him out to 100% crit, get him there, make him fast, and give him high max HP. Now, when you are building for retaliation gear, I understand you're probably not going to have humongous HP percentage stats, but pick up extra HP percent, pick up HP on the um, amulet, which I don't know why I don't have it here, um, pick it up on the ring pick it up on the banner wherever possible. Uh, he should definitely have some HP. There we go. So this is going to be better for him. You want to just pump him with as much HP as you can because you want these hits, these counterattacks, to heal for as much as possible. Now you'll notice this doesn't say heals based on the damage he deals, okay? So just heal. As long as he gets a crit, so you need 100% crit rate, as long as he gets that crit, he'll heal by 10% of his max HP. So don't worry about building him crit damage. You don't need that. Just make him fast enough to keep going his turns, build him retaliation gear. I like him to be 170 speed, 170 to 200, depending on where you're using him. If it's for clan boss, make him speed tune to your team. If it's for things like Doom Tower, which I'm going to jump in there and show you, then 172 should be fine. Um, and then HP, just crank that as high as you can get it. Obviously, 10% of 52,000 is about 5,000 HP. So he's going to be healing a decent chunk, okay? Now, if you have retaliation on clan boss, just think about this, all right? The clan boss hits on affinity. The clan boss is going to hit twice. So if you're using retaliation gear, you're going to have a 35% chance each time it hits to counterattack. So that's one 5,000 heal right there. 
And then when he actually takes his turn, that's another 5,000 HP heal. And while those seem small by themselves, that's going to happen each turn or has a chance of happening each turn. So it's a very, very helpful ability to bring alongside your team. Now with my Vrask, like I said, HP, speed, crit rate, it's really all you need. He doesn't need anything else. You can go and make this guy hit with some massive heals, tremendous carry, not necessarily carry, but a tremendous champion for faction wars. And he's literally what allowed me to get through Orcs 21. Um, well, Orcs faction wars in general. I had him in my vault, like I said, for a while, but he's so, so helpful. Now, let me jump into this nether spider level and kind of give you an idea of what Vras can do. All right. And he's in retaliation gear, as you guys saw. Um, let's go ahead and throw him. We'll use another little support type champion. Let's use Tervold. And then I think of a cleanser who's not going to do a ton of healing. Let's do Doom Priest. And she's going to do some healing. But I, the poisons could get him messed up. He could solo heal this probably because of all the little um, little spiders attacking when they finally do and hitting him, hitting AoEs or whatever. He's going to counterattack those or has a 35% chance of counterattacking those. But the poisons will eat away at his health and it'll be bad news. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a Skull Crown just to get through these waves a little bit quicker. And make sure this is my correct skull crown. I have two skull crowns, <laughs> one in Avenging and one in Savage, which may be changed soon. Tonight on stream, I'm going to be playing around with Astralon, the new fusion that's going on right now. I'll be playing around with him, and uh, we may be switching up one of the skull crowns. I'm not for sure. Obviously, the Savage one and not the Avenging, but I haven't built him out completely yet. So that's going to be on stream tonight. If you guys want to check it out, twitch.tv forward slash Tairaku. Live every day except for Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Now look at this. So Vrask, 5k HP heal. Now obviously, Scylla the Drakes is going to heal all the time. Well, this is kind of ruined because <laughs> my Skull Crown uses an AoE ability and she killed all the little spiderlings. So let me go ahead and try this again real quick. Um, not a big deal, but let me go recently used. And then bring everybody except for Skull Crown. And then we'll just use Venus. Not a big deal. Is it Like I said, it doesn't really matter about the... The waves, I'm not too much worried about that. I just want to show you that he's going to get some counterattacks. It's going to go pretty smoothly. And overall, he's a great, he's he's so much better wearing this retaliation gear. And Ice Golem, like I said, is a very skipped dungeon, but you're going to be running it for these tournaments anyways. And I don't want you to go in and just instant sell everything because sets like this work, all right? Get a weapon, get a helmet, and get a shield where their main stats are always going to be consistent. Get at least decent substats. And you can maybe make a set like this for Vrask. I mean, 5k heal each turn is very similar to Sill of the Drakes, except instead of her doing it only on her turn, he's going to do it on his turn, plus on his counterattacks from the retaliation gear. Now, if you, you could do this exact same thing, okay? You build him in Clan Boss. If you run a counterattack champion, he would be hitting twice per turn, getting this 5k HP heal all the time, given your, and that's, that's assuming he's at about 50k HP. Obviously, if you push him up to 100k HP, it's going to be a 10,000 point heal every time he attacks, all right? So it would be 10,000 right here, and then another 10,000. That'd be so much extra healing. So 20,000 HP is a significant chunk of most champions' total HP pool, all right? You bring him into a clan boss team, and maybe you don't have lifesteal gear on everybody. Bring him in there. He's going to give you that little extra padding to where your champions aren't just being obliterated. He brings a little bit of damage because you definitely want to build him with Warmaster. And overall, just a solid champion, a solid, an even better champion when you put him in this gear. Now, he's not going to carry your account. He's not like no top, top tier champion who's just going to blow away everybody's account and allow you to break into content you could never do before. But he's a great asset to have in so many different areas. And I think the retaliation gear just makes him that much better because, to be honest, I had him in my vault for a long time. Before Tycoons had told me about this, this build, mentioned this to me, I had him in my vault for a long time. So now that we have this, I love it. I mean, you got such a high chance of counterattacking with retaliation gear. Don't worry about his damage, though, because with retaliation gear, I believe you do 50% of the damage that you would typically, because counterattacks, you do less damage than from regular attacks, which... It is what it is. I didn't actually mean to use that entire key. Not a big deal. Let's look at the healing done. Okay, so Vrask did 370,000 total points of healing. Scylla the Drakes, we know she's a good healer. She did 272, and Doom Priest did 122,000. So you can obviously see right here, hey, Vrask isn't a healer just to be marked off and forgot about. Definitely a solid healer. Now, outside of those one-hit A1 abilities that heal, 
I mean, he's going to have, he's going to go even more frequently because his A1 boosting his turn meter. So definitely a champion worth looking into. Now, um, I didn't actually see if on those counterattacks, if he was boosting his own turn meter, but I am curious. Let's go ahead and see. So whenever he counterattacks somebody, let's see if he uh, will boost his own turn meter with that A1. So it boosts turn meter. Let's see how this works. So let's go ahead and make sure we get this all figured out because that'd be awesome. If he's counterattacking, obviously from um, retaliation gear, he's hitting with his A1 ability. So if that, when that happens, if he's boosting his turn meter from that, it's going to be even better. Hey guys, so I'm back in here outside of the editing. I did realize that Vrask does actually boost his own turn meter from these counterattack abilities. So the ones that I just now ran as a little test, he wasn't boosting his turn meter, but I wanted to jump back in here and make this edit and saying that he does boost his turn meter. So he boosts it whenever he attacks, if it's a crit, and he'll boost it on the counterattack if it's a crit as well. What I was seeing is he was he would attack these people right here and it'd be weak hits, but he's going crazy amount of times, okay? So he's counterattacking, getting that crit, boosting his turn meter 20%. So he's getting the 20% boost from his initial turn and then another 20% boost whenever he's counterattacking. So he's absolutely even better than what I originally thought, guys. So if you made it to this point of the video, hopefully you found this little gem out. Now, back to the video before this edit cut. Talking about his masteries, okay? I have my Vrask with no masteries whatsoever. So he's not a champion you really need to mastery. But if I was going to do his masteries, I'd run something kind of similar to this. The ones I haven't selected are ones that can kind of be tailored to your specific needs. If you're building him for some reason with some damage, maybe you could go this. If not, you could try to get Lore of Steel. It kind of sucks where it's positioned. I definitely wouldn't get Cycle of Magic. There's nothing really that he has that I would really want to use Cycle of Magic for. I mean, he has two abilities. So that's you don't have to book him. Not necessarily needed. If you're using him for his heal, don't worry more about the books. Now, his masteries, like I said, this is a solid setup for Clan Boss. If you just want to take him to survive longer, go defense and support. But overall... These give him some extra HP, some extra healing overall, make him a little bit faster whenever your allies die. And I think overall, this is a, a solid mastery setup. War Master, crucial for the clan boss. It's not going to do anything extra for his healing, but for his damage, it's going to help out a lot. So definitely, if you have Vrask, pull him out of your vault, give him a shot. You're struggling with Orcs Faction Wars, give him a shot. Maybe you want to throw him into your brutal clan boss team, which I may actually do on stream tonight just to try it out. Because like I said, he's going to be a great healer. He's definitely going to do good for clan boss. And... I don't even have lifesteal gear on those other champions, so he's going to do good now. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it opens your eyes to a champion who maybe you forgot about, maybe you didn't really care about. But either way, Ice Golem is worth farming, so make sure you're doing that if you want to progress in this tournament. It is pretty valuable. There's other gear sets that are just as valuable as Retaliation, and I really like them all. Um, very different opinion than what I used to have, guys. But Thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out one of the next videos, feel free to click one of the ones that are about to pop up. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next video.